Welcome everyone to another training video. This video is going to test your technical ability. We're starting to get into skills challenges. We're starting get, to get into flicks. We're starting to involve juggling. For this first activity, what you are going to need is a space for you guys to work on. Look here, I'm using a square again. I have four corners, one corner, two corners, three corners, and four. And in between those corners, if you notice, I also have some markings. Here, here in between, in between there, and finally here, all right? And the last thing you're going to need to complete this challenge is a line right in the middle, like my green line there, okay? And what you, what you ladies are going to do, and gentlemen, if you're watching, is bounce juggles. Yes, I call it, I call it crossing the border, all right, using bounce juggles, all right? So I'm going to bounce juggle on one side of the line. Remember, my toes are locked, my, my toes are pointing forward, my ankle is locked, I'm hitting the belly of the ball, and whenever I am ready, I am going to rush the border to the side. And I come quick, I get a hold of the ball, and I start using my technique to bounce juggle. And when I feel comfortable, like I do now, I am going to go across the border. Here it is, here it is. Bounce juggle and go across. And in this one, what eventually you want to do, and it will happen, is one day when you're playing against someone and you get the ball and it's bouncing and they're coming to get you, maybe you can go over him or her. If the ball comes to you and it's bouncing, maybe you can go over them. So that's what we're trying to accomplish. But very important, and this is one of the most critical tips, if I try to go over with a foot that's closest, look what might happen. Sorry, look what might happen. This is the closest foot to the border, this is not. If I do it with this foot, it might hit the player or the obstacle. Why? Because you're not giving yourself enough room. But if you do it with the foot furthest from the border or the person, it gives you this whole space to go over the player. Yes, same thing here. If I do it with the foot closest, I might hit the trash can or a player. But if I do it with the furthest one, it provides that space that I need. So coaching point number three in this is make sure you go across with the foot furthest from your border or the player that you're playing against. <laughs> A ver cómo sale. Javi González, sigue metiendo el pie. Yes, foot furthest from. And for my more advanced, because we have very technical ladies, for my most advanced, do straight juggling. Regular. And when you go over with the foot furthest from, you let it bounce maybe. Then gain control again. Get comfortable. Think about the what foot is furthest from the border and go across. That's level two. Level three is just juggling, not letting it hit the ground, not even after crossing the border. Foot furthest from the border or the player, there it is, and not let it fall. Foot furthest from the border, oops, see I didn't go across. There it is, and I caught it. And I caught it. And I caught it. So it's your turn to do this. This is the start of something creative. This is the start of you being able to get the ball. Hey, pass me the ball, pass me the ball. Have a player right, have a player right next to you here, and just simply go over that player. Whoop. Make sure you include both feet like I did, and it's your turn. Our next activity is called Just Hold. 
all right? And for this activity, we have to try to be successful because it leads to the next activity. All you're going to do, remember this is our technical warm-up, is have the ball in front of you and you're going to drag it back towards that same foot and you're going to hold as long as you want, yes? And once you think you've gotten it, do it again. Drag, hold. Do it again. Drag, hold for five seconds. Four, three, two, one. Drag and hold. Five, four, three, two, one. Drag and hold. Four, three, two, one. So this is drag and hold. It's very simple. I allow you to take a break, but it's crucial. It's very important to your ball mastery. Go ahead and try it. Okay, continuing on with a technical warm-up, we're going to do the drag and hold now with our left foot, okay? This one here, you saw me being very calm, collected, smooth, because I'm a right-footed player. Here, now you're going to see a little bit of what we might all experience, which is the drag and the hold. And notice how my foot is moving up a little bit more. I have to bounce to keep my balance. Five, there. Five seconds, drag and hold. Five, four, three, two, one. Drag and hold. And there I couldn't do it, and that's okay. If you can't do it and hold it for five seconds, get back to it. Drag and hold. Five, four, three, two, one. Drag and hold. One. If it falls, do it again. One. If it falls, do it again. Do it again. One two, three, four, five. And that's what you're going to do with your left foot, drag and hold. Okay, continuing on with your technical warm-up. We're still in our warm-up. Now we're going back to our right foot and we're going to do the same thing. We're going to drag, we're going to hold, but now we're going to go to any of the markings that you have around you. It doesn't have to be like this. You can put an umbrella, you can put a beach ball, you can put some shoes, whatever you guys want, but have a target to go to, yes? So here it is again, just like before, the previous exercise, you're going to drag, I dropped it, drag, hold, and whenever you're ready, not five seconds, whenever you're ready, go to your target and back. Drag, hold, and go to your target and back. Here, what I want to introduce is the, the slope of the foot and the movement, yes? For example, if I want to go towards you, the camera, or my target, I don't want to lift my foot up. If I'm holding it and I lift my foot up, it will come back. If I'm holding it and I let my shoe go this way, it will go here. If I'm holding it and I drop my shoe that way, it will go there. But if I, I'm holding it and I let go this way, then the ball will go there. So once you're holding the ball, where do you want to go? Which target? And now that you found your target, allow the slope of your foot to lead you there. So drag, hold. I'm going this way. So look what I'm going to do to my foot that way and back drag hold I'm going this way so look what I'm going to do to my foot this way here I just let it fall off in that direction now a little bit faster drag hold go drag hold go drag hold go And now it's your turn. Ready? Begin. Okay, continuing with your technical warm up, we're going to do the drag, hold, and go with our left foot only. My most challenging foot to some of you is your strong foot. So I'm going to drag, hold, and remember what we spoke about with the slope? I'm going straight to you so I let my foot or slope go towards you. Drag, hold, and go. And again, I'm going to tell you or allow you to enter my thoughts and tell you where I'm going to go so you can see how I move my foot. Drag, 
hold, I'm going this way, so I let it fall this way. Yes, a little bit faster now. Drag, hold, this way. And when I go back, I even like to give a flick. Hold and flick. And back. Right, it's your turn to do the drag, hold, go. With your left foot only. Begin. Okay, everyone, so we're moving on from our warm up and we're going to what I like to call three easy and effective skills. What three skills are them? The first one is the lift. Okay, the lift is simply putting your foot under and lifting it. Yes, putting your foot under and lifting it. But we are going to do it in a different way. Yes, and if you saw the short clip that I just put up, all right, you saw a professional player doing the flick, I believe it's Neymar. All right, so how, when and how do you do this skill? This skill is used when someone is guarding you. Yes, when someone is guarding you and you can't dribble through the front, so you have to go over their leg. All right, so we are going to start with our box. All right, and I'm going to start flicking over this small chair. All right, so all I'm going to do is be on my starting point here and flick the ball over the chair by putting my toes under it and scooping it up, all right? So here it is again, my foot is under, I scoop, and then I go around the chair. Obviously, I don't crash into it, yes? So I'm pretending this is a player, this is a player, this is a player, he's trying to take the ball away from me. I go over his leg, I get around him, and now I'm here to the opposite corner, all right? Once you get to the opposite corner, dribble back to the next bottom corner I started in that corner across now I'm back here yes here I'm going to go over this water uh, a jug with my left foot now all right with my left foot so the ball is here I'm going to go under it and I'm going to scoop or lift it over and meet up with it again and regardless of whether you do this in a game or not it creates ball mastery and then I go back to my starting point here. I have the ball here, all right? Look, I make sure it's stopped. I put my foot under and then I look at my knee. I don't lift, do you see my knee? I don't just move the bottom. I actually lift my knee up. I lift my knee up and then I meet the ball. I'm here, I go back to this side, left foot now. I lift the ball, I go around, back to this side, my right foot now, I lift the ball, I go around, and I'm here, left foot now, I lift the ball, and I go around, and I come back. So, this will go over someone's foot, like in the video I just showed you, all right, the professional video, but you can even go over their waistline or their body. So I'm going to substitute this chair with this one. So here with the right foot, I'm going to go over the chair. I have to now get more power and more lift from my knee. Yes, it goes in, I dig it in, 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 in. And then I scoop it up and I go around. Yes, and I'm here. And if you, if you only can do it over a line, like this look, over this small line, then that's where you start. All right, that's where you start. We all have a starting point. All right, don't be embarrassed or think that you should start somewhere else just because you feel entitled to it. No. Now, 
I've been very successful with that. So let's try using a color this time. Now I'm a little bit scared for this because it's harder for me with my left. All right, here's the ball. Over, there it is, around, me up with the ball. working games because when defenders come towards you they don't come tall they come and they get low and when they get low it's a perfect time to chip it over them or lift it over them all right right foot here or left foot whatever you want right foot here or left foot but it has to be alternating okay ready and begin Continuing with the three easy and effective skills. The first one was the lift, all right? The second one is the Cruyff turn. And many of you know the Cruyff turn, but I'm going to try to explain it, all right? The Cruyff turn is basically a shot fake with a turn, yes? So imagine that I'm dribbling the ball, all right? And you're the defender. I'm dribbling the ball and you're the defender. You're running with me and I look up. What are you thinking? What do you think I'm about to do? Or what am I looking for? I'm looking for a teammate, all right? I'm looking to see where I'm going to pass the ball. So that's what the defender's thinking. I'm looking up, I'm doing it on purpose so that he can think that I'm going to cross. And now I look up, I look back down, and I put my support foot next to the ball and I lift my hand. What do you think he's saying? Aha! It is true. He looked up and now he's about to pass. So now he's going to fully commit to your cross. And when this defender fully commits to your cross, that's where you do the Cruyff turn, which is you basically decommit or, or, or you psych, all right, the opponent. You looked up, I'm going to cross. You look down, here comes the cross. And as, right before you do the cross, you grab the ball with your laces like I'm doing now, and you pull the ball back. And usually what the defender is doing is flying out of balance, trying to block your cross. And now that you do the turn this way and he or she's on the ground, you have space to go forward. All right, just like the video that I put before this, and I'm also going to put it at the end so you can get a visual. Yes, and same thing with the left foot, okay? Now I'm going to start in this corner and go that way, all right? I'm going to dribble, 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 look up. Here comes the cross and pull. Dribble, dribble, I look up. Here comes up and I pull back. Here comes the cross, I look up and I, do. now a little bit faster. Here comes, hey, boom. And notice how I even added a hey to my teammate so that I can convince this player to go flying and try to block my cross. I go this way here, and then I lift, there's my sole, and I pull the ball back. Here it is, I pull the ball back, and many people do the Cruyff, and that's how I do it, with their inside. All right, so look here, as I'm dribbling this way, if you take note of, at my foot, I look up, I look back down, and right when I'm about to cross, I use my inside. 
Look at how my foot is. I use my inside to bring the ball back, see the defender flying, and now have unlimited space. Inside. Inside. Make sure you guys look up, up, inside. I look up, I look up, I look up, inside. This is the Cruyff. This is the Cruyff. And all you're doing is back and forth. All right? Right foot going there, left foot going here. Look up before the Cruyff. That is the first weapon to fooling the defender. All right? This is your turn. Good luck. Okay, back with the third of the three most effective and easiest skills to use in a game. The first one was the lift, the second one was the Cruyff, the third one's called in, inside out. All right, why is it called inside out? Because those are the surfaces you're going to use. I'm going to start in this corner, all right, with my right foot outside here, and I'm going to dribble towards the green starting point there. Yes, I'm here, you're the defender, so defender, if you can please come a little bit closer, and you're going to be running next to me, yes? And now, as I approach my green target, all right, can you come? I am going to touch it with my inside, like this. Inside, and I'm going to hop. Look, look, how, look how I use, I pretend to use my inside and hop. Yes, I use my inside and hop. Now with the ball, I use my inside and hop. Once you hop and you use the inside, the skill is called inside, outside. So after you use your inside and hop, you then move your outside to the ball and go back this way. So what this is going to cause the defender to do is commit completely to your inside. You're going to, and this is Messi's favorite skill, you're going to completely commit to my inside because look where I take my body. My toes are pointing that way. My knees pointing that way. My hips are pointing that way. So I'm going to use my inside to jump forward, lean forward and commit. And then almost as if my inside was thinking alone, my body's going this way, but just my inside is going to do the trick and go that way. All right, a little bit quicker, a little bit faster here. I'm dribbling. I use my inside, boom, and I go back this way. Yes, now if you can stand on that side. All right, I'm going to go back to the target. I'm dribbling, I'm dribbling. I use my inside and now my outside to get to the target. So basically, my inside gets you away. My outside takes the space you gave me. Yes, my inside takes you away. My outside goes into the space you gave me. Yes. Here it is again. My inside takes you away. My outside lets me go into the space you gave me. Here it is again. My inside takes you away. My outside takes me into space. All right. Most important here, most important thing here is that when you're about to use your inside, as I'm about to do, look, I'm about to use my inside. My support foot is next to the ball and I hop. As soon as I touch the ball, I hop with my foot. Let's see if the camera can get that, yes? As soon as I touch the ball with my inside, I also hop. I touch the ball with my inside and I hop. Boom. And that allows space in between. Because if I just keep this foot here and I touch with my inside, now it's going to be really hard to touch with my outside. So the hop, yes, look, I touch with my inside, the hop, provides the space to bring my outside into play. A little bit quicker now. Here's the ball. Inside, outside. Last one. I dribble. I take you that way with my inside. I go back here with my outside. And it's your turn. Those are the three easiest and most effective skills to use in a game. Enjoy.
Okay, ladies and gentlemen, this is your last exercise, and it's called runway. All right, why is it called a runway? Because it looks like a runway. Yes, a T-shaped runway. Imagine, look, and I, this time I put little markers just to help me, and so that you guys can visually see it. I drew two lines here as the runway. So basically, it's almost like a fashion show. You start here, you come out, here, and here's the runway. Yes, you're here, you come out, and here's the runway now. All right, so the first skill that we're going to use in the runway is going to be the right pullback. All right, the right pullback. So here's the ball. Here's the ball here. You're going to always start in the center here. All right, well, for the pullback you are, you're going to dribble towards that side and you're going to do the pullback to come back towards this direction. Yes? to go and pull back you can also do a pull back like so and then come back in this direction all right or you can do a pull back how I just showed you facing the camera or the audience look pull back with my right facing my audience using my left all right here it is so you guys are going to do the right pull back here and I prefer you do it facing the audience so I am do, about to do the pullback. I'm doing the pullback. I face my audience and I use my left foot to push the ball in, which is the easiest. I just work my right foot. Now I'm going to push it with my left foot. All right, so here is a little bit faster and quicker. I'm going this way. I do a pullback and back through the runway and I'm here. Once you get here, you have to explode back. This is your last exercise. So as soon as you get here, explode back. All right, get comfortable and do it again. Yes, I'm dribbling this way. Right, pull back, boom, I'm here. Oh, I got out of the runway, no problem. Here, I pull back, face my audience, use my left. I get here to the end and I'm back. Make sure that you do not just do a pull back here in the runway. Really go deep away from this runway so you have to really do a pull back to get back in. Yes, jump back, last one. All right, here it is. I'm facing my audience, I'm using my inside. I'm back and that's one. That's two. And for those of you who are really smart with their skills, this is basically a V move. Here, here. Yes? So you can you can see it as a V move. You can see it as a pullback. As long as you do. Begin. Alright, continuing with the runway. Now it's a pullback with our left foot. So we're going to go deep towards this side and we're going to pull the back with our, pull the ball back with our left foot and I'm going to be facing my audience using the inside of my other foot, right foot, to go up into the runway and back. Yes, I'm going to go deep in here and use a pull back, face my audience, use my other foot to go through the runway. Here. One. Going in, pull back, face my audience inside of the other foot. Two. And I did not mention it when I explained the right, but if you, look, I'm very deep into the runway. If you pull the ball here, then you can't go through the runway, you'll crash. So look what I do on my pullback. Yes, I'm going to do it without the ball. I pull the ball back and look where I land. Again, I don't pull the ball back and stay in the same spot. I pull the ball back and I hop backwards into this area, yes? So now with the ball, hop, land, push. Okay, here it is again. Pull, boom, with my inside. 
and we're back. Pull back with our left, hop backwards, push. And then we're good. Here it is. And we're done. It's your turn. Ready? And begin. Okay, the next skill in the runway is going to be the fate. So on this one, on this one here, you guys are going to put the ball wherever you'd like. I'm going to put it right in the center. Look, the runway is not in front of me. The runway is actually one step, yes? And what you're going to do, what you're going to do is you're going to simply do this. You're going to pretend you're exiting the runway. All right, I'm leaving, bye. And then say, psych, left, left, and go through. Yes, this is the faint. The faint, you are fainting towards that exit to move the player this way, but now you're using the outside of the left, the inside of the left to go up the runway. Okay, here it is a little bit faster, a little bit faster for you ladies. I am pretending to go this way in through the runway, and now I'm, I have escaped. Yes, in the game, this would be your escape. This runway would be your escape. Yes, the defender would be here in these blocks. So I'm going to move these guys that way to give me space to go through. Yes, so then dribble back, obviously. Start again and faint, push in, and now I'm through. All right, so this is a very simple one. Make sure in the faint that you ladies and gentlemen who are working with us, that you really exaggerate it. Look what I'm going to do. I even look there, I'm looking there my toes looking there, my knees looking there. It is bent because I am not pretending to go there. I am really going there. Psych. Boom. And this touch is very important. Now focus on the touch, not really the feint. Here's the feint. And look, the surface that's closest to the ball is my outside. The surface that's close to the runaway is my inside. All right, so it's the right feint. Your turn, ready, and go. All right, continuing with the runway. Now we're going to do the left feint. Yes, so we're going to pretend to go to this exit. Knee is bent, toes pointing that way, my face pointing that way. And now, I'm even, I even look like I'm going to take my second step that way, but really is to just come inside, to touch the ball with the outside, then with the inside, up the runway, do a pullback, or whatever turn, or even a Cruyff to get back the runway, get back to your starting position, and again. Yes, so here it is a little bit faster. It's faint in, uh, uh, and you're through, and back. Here it is again. I'm going to pretend to go this way, outside, inside, and I'm through the runway. All right, I'm gonna give you two really fast ones at my pace so you guys can challenge yourself. Here it is. It's faint outside, inside, and I'm here. And I'm back. Here again. Faint outside, inside, and I'm back. And I'm here. So now it is your turn. Ready? Begin. Okay, next skill in the runway is the scissor. Okay, so again, we're pretending to exit the runway. So we're going to do it with the right scissor now. So I'm going to go around the ball in between my foot and the ball and then land in a feint. So the only difference from a feint and a scissor is this loop around the ball. Once you loop around the ball, it's a feint, okay? So you're going to do a scissor outside, inside, and you're gone. Pull back and you're here now, yes? Scissor, right? Scissor, push out, and you're gone. Here's two fast ones. In the scissor here, keep the same technical points of the feint, but here, you are pretending to touch the ball that way. So look, for a second, you think I'm going that way, but then I go back this way. Then I go back that way for real. Yes, and I'm back. Here's a really fast one. Next one.
and Hamdan. Your turn starting now. Okay, and we're on with the runway. We did the right side. Now we're going to do the left side. Okay, same thing. My left foot is going to go around the ball in between my right foot and the ball. And it goes into a feint that we did earlier. Push the ball with the outside, inside, and you explode. Be creative, explode, restart. Yes, it's left scissor. Make sure that knee is bent. So what you learn in the feint, you have to apply in the scissor. Yes, and what's new in the scissor is basically this loop around the ball and pretending to go that way. I'm going that way. Nope, I'm going that way. Nope, I'm really was going this way. Yes, so that is the scissor. And now two fast ones for you. Ready? And scissor, outside, inside, and I'm gone. And I'm back. Last one. Left, scissor, outside, inside, and I'm gone. And then I come back and I finish. It's your turn starting now.